Squad 3 engines, take traumatic injury with cardiac arrest, 2500 North Highway 95A. So this is probably going to be a special ops situation. Got a male patient inside the cement, make sure that it was turned on. After Escambia County crews removed the unidentified victim, who is believed to have fallen through a concrete mixer on Wednesday afternoon at Foley Products on Highway 95 at Cantonment, exactly how the victim died remains unclear. Once our first arriving units got on scene, they realized it was an industrial accident with somebody uh, entrapped in a piece of machinery. County officials confirmed today OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, were actively investigating the scene Thursday morning. OSHA hasn't confirmed any details of the incident or their investigation, but online, the agency lists guidelines that solutions should be in place to prevent incidents like what happened Wednesday. Before entering a mixing drum, OSHA requires an entry permit that includes identifying the hazards of the space and measures used to control those hazards. This safety guide on concrete manufacturing from OSHA shows companies should ensure guards are in place to protect workers using mixers. The agency also lists confined spaces and machine guarding as top issues in concrete work. It's still unclear if these safeguards were in place or if the victim was trained to clean the mixing drum. We've tried numerous times since Wednesday to contact the Foley Products Company at their cantonment plant and their national headquarters in Georgia. We're waiting to hear back.